cute little flower. Ugh, who obviously needs a potty. And you can blow everything away? What about you? You thought I needed a shower? Where did that bright flame come from? Don't worry, it's just the work of our talented little girl. Is that really my future daughter? You can meet her. She's a real beauty! Come here! Ah, I want to adopt her! But how do I calm her down? I think it's all about the blanket. There, that's better. But there's something missing. This baby has a hot temper. And she already mm. loves luxury. She seems delighted. I have to thank you. Wow, you're so generous. I'm rich now. Oh, so it's not a dream? Who's here? Such an expensive rings. How can I help you? Hello, I would like to adopt a child. I have enough money to provide for him. I got you. Wait a minute. All right. Here you go. What a nice girl. I'm going to be the happiest father. Oh, do something. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to solve the problem. A little magic. What to do? I can't figure out what she wants. That's right. How could I not have guessed right away? That's what she wanted. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Oh, and I had a profitable day today. Finally, I can fly to the islands. Excuse me, sir. Ugh, what do you want? I'm sorry if I frightened you. I called you yesterday. My name is Miss Bright. I'm here for the baby. I'll bring her right away. All oh, the babies are so whiny today for some reason. Don't worry. I'm well prepared and I know what to do. Really? That's impressive. She just needs to have her diaper changed. So my baby isn't ordinary. She has superpowers? Glad you're not afraid of that. That's wonderful. She's special. Then she needs the right blanket too. She seems happy. Now we're going to be a family. Here, it's for the little ones. I made it myself. That's so sweet. <laughs> Come on, honey. Don't be sad. You won't be alone. I'm here for you. What happened? They should have come for her, but they never did that. I've been trying to calm her down for over an hour. Maybe she's just hungry. Can I hold her? She's such a cutie. Who's the sweetest bun? And those two get along pretty well. But I have to correct one thing. Would you like to be her foster mom? Gladly. I'll always feed you good food. Is she that excited? How touching. I'm so glad she has a family now. And you know what? Take it. You need it more. Good luck. Many years have passed, and the little girls with magical powers have grown up and become beautiful ladies. Except they live in different worlds. What are we having for breakfast today? Vegetables. Isn't there something sweet? You know, I made something especially for you. Your favorite cakes. Yay, they look so yummy. Did I just hear the word cakes? No, dad, you misheard it. Oh, I told you, she should eat only healthy foods. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. You better eat your vegetables. They have lots of different vitamins. And I have to run to meet my business partner. Broccoli is disgusting. I am capable of making it a little more edible, though. <laughs> Gotta keep the water balance. That's better. The record is waiting for me. But first, I'm going to drink some delicious water. I'll save all the fish in this virtual aquarium. Hey! Ah! Sorry. Oh no, not again. Oh, my pearl. I just wanted to give you something. Surprise! Wow. Rich Mr. Fox is ready to do everything for his daughter. Oh, what a beautiful pendant. I'm sorry I doused you. I have to change. No need to worry. Wow, your magic helped me out. I have to go. Nothing tastes better than homegrown foods. I love apples. <laughs> Honey, look what I made you. It's awesome. That's for you for doing well in college. I'm so happy. Thank you. Bye. Oh, has Francis wilted? That's all right. I can breathe life into him. There, now you're handsome. 
I can go to college in peace. The poor wind girl has to make everything with her own hands, and mostly out of cardboard. It's as good as what's sold in stores. Oh, I'm finally home. Mom must be very tired after her night shift. Sit down and rest. I'll get you something to eat. No need, Stephanie. You need it. I made you a sandwich. It's my own recipe. Ouch! It's hot. Just a second, I'll solve that problem. You're going to blow me away too. I've created a new dish, a flying sandwich. Oh, I totally forgot about college. See you tonight. What a good and kind daughter I have after all. Dear students, I announce the last, most exciting and decisive stage of the nail art contest. And now, please welcome our finalists. This is so exciting. I hope I can win. Time's up! There's so much here. Hmm, where should I start? What kind of manicure each of the girls will get? After all, the materials match their budget. What cute scissors. It'll do just fine. Well, time to get to work. Gold nail design? What could be better? The Giga Wealthy Fire Girl will definitely have a gorgeous manicure, especially when she has a superpower that allows her to melt gold. What should I do? Wow, she's really good at it. I'm going to make something similar, only in a different color. Oh, I don't like it. Good thing it can easily be washed off. But what's the next step? Hey, can you help me and melt the silver, please? Easily, wait a moment. Fire magic! Here, does that work? Great! I got a chance to get a cool manicure. I love it, wow. thank you so much! And our results are kind of similar, by the way. Yep. And how are the poorer girls doing? I'll mm. use my favorite green shades. I'll mix this one and that. I need to stick more cardboard. I have an idea. Why not use my superpower? Wow! Wow, everyone's almost done. I have to hurry. That's a nice design. Just matches my style. What about mine? Oh no, I blew it off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. Don't get upset. Oh, look, I know how to help you out. How? This leaf will keep the wind from blowing out of your mouth. You're a genius. And you have good taste. Time to pick a winner. Let's see what masterpieces you got. Unbelievable! We have similar birthmarks. Here comes the winner! We'll discuss it tomorrow. Let's meet near the lockers. Wait, where are you going? What about the prize? So, where are the girls? I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Let me see your hands. Wow! What's going on? Holy Neptune! This can't be a coincidence. We have to talk to my mom. She'll tell us everything. I wish I had money for a new sweater. Mom, hi. Oh, Stephanie, you're not alone? Sorry I didn't warn you. We have company tonight. Hello. We'd like to talk to you. I think the girls and I have some kind of connection. What are those birthmarks? We're here for answers. Mom, tell us the truth. What a lot of questions. Be quiet for a second. Stephanie, you are not my real daughter. In fact, you once mm. lived together in the magic orphanage. You mean we were all adopted? <gasps> now I'm even more confused. Go to the director of the orphanage, Mr. Radner. Oh, Mr. Young, you finally came. This is the painting we discussed. Wonderful. I'm huh? buying it. Hehe. <laughs> Only a hundred dollars, but it's worth more than that. So I sold the last expensive thing in the house. And the greedy man has a point. I'm broke. I guess I'll have to say goodbye to the orphanage after all. Mr. Radner, we have an important conversation for you. Who are you anyway? Maybe that's how you remember us? Wait a minute. I remember those birthmarks. Many years ago, you lived in my orphanage. But then I had to give you away to different families. But the most important thing in this story mm. is that you are sisters. Mm. Sisters? That's so cool. Wait, mm? are we really in the same orphanage right now? Why does this place look mm. so poor?
I'm ashamed to admit it, but it's on the verge of closing now because I spent all my money… <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I'll try to deal with this. Daddy, I need your help. With what? We have to save one orphanage. No problem. Great. I've got good news. Daddy's going to buy magic. I'll be helping kids with superpowers again. Who could it be? Let me check. Ah, huh, hmm. a baby. It apparently has magical powers too. But what kind of them? Guys, write your guesses in the comments below this video. See you.